Hey guys, it's me, Andrew, and today I'm going to be reading a story about the Runaway Iceberg by Twinkle. Land ahoy, shouted Rossi, looking at the sea with her telescope. Shall we drive in and explore, Captain? You know, I don't like swimming, Gasper said with a sigh. Certainly, a crash sound came from below them before they had realised what was happening. A chunk of ice had broken off and Gasper and Rossi were floating out to sea on an iceberg. Quick, swim! shouted Rossi, but Gasper was afraid. I can't! he cried, peering in, 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 in the deep dark sea below. The iceberg floated out there farther and farther until could no longer see land. What are we going to do? asked Gasper, trembling. How will we get? How will we ever get back? We'll be we're brave explorers, remember? said said Rossi, holding Gasper's flippers. We will find a way. Gasper took a deep breath. I guess we could use our flippers to row back, he said. But which way is home? Lift me up, said Rossi. She climbed onto Gasper's head, but she was still not high enough to see land. Try, try jumping, she suggested, giving him a little nudge with her foot. Gasper jumped, and they both left on the ice with, with a third. Need some help finding your way? asked Petrol from above. Oh yes, called back Gasper. Where, which way is it land? Ah, it, it, it's the way, it's this way, called the snow pot, Petrol flying high above them. Gasper and Rossi used their flippers to whirl as hard as they could, but the current kept pushing them the wrong way. Need us to give you a push? asked an artistic silverfish from below. Oh yes, please, called Gasper. The silver pi the silver fish pushed the iceberg along until suddenly it became stuck. We'll never get through here, explained Gasper. Need some help breaking through the eyes? Asked the blue whale from the deep. Oh yes, called Gasper. Good girl. Good, well done. Still looking okay? I'm reading. With a huge flip of its tail, the whale smashed the eyes and cleared the way. Gasper and Rossi bubbled along behind it, glad to finally be on their way back to safety. Land ahoy, squawked the snow petrel. It's all been a great adventure, said Wassy, grinning. We're just like we real explorers. Hey, stick to your side, Captain, laughed Wassy, as Gapta's tail feathers tickled her feet. I'm right on the edge, grumbled Gasper. The two penguins turned to each face, other in shock. The iceberg was getting smaller. I'm, I'm right on the edge, grumbled Gasper. And smaller, it's melting, shrieked Gasper. We need to move faster. The silverfish swam quicker and the blue whale helped to push, but the ice was melting too fast. We'll have to swim from here, said Rossi. You can do, do this, Gasper. I know you can. You are the captain after all. The silverfish started to cheer. Gasper, Gasper, Gasper. Soon everyone had joined in and Gasper began to feel braver. Gasper gulped, then with one jump he splashed into the water. Use your flippers! <laughs> shouted Rossi as she dived in over, in over Gasper's head. Whee! said Rossi as she had it from home. Gasper flapped his flippers and followed nervously behind. 
it wasn't so it wasn't long before Wassie and Gaspar were back home with their families. You did it, Captain, said Wassie. You got us through our most dangerous adventure yet. I guess I did it, agreed Gaspar, feeling proud. But I couldn't have done it without my trusty mate. The end. Oh, that's a good reading. Well done. And this is the end of my story. The end.